Number 13. On the basis of intermolecular attractions, explain the differences in the boiling points of N-butane and chloroethane, which have similar molar masses. And they do tell us that N-butane has a boiling point of negative 1 degrees Celsius, while chloroethane has 12 degrees Celsius. Now, the easiest way to go about this is to draw out what N-butane is and what chloroethane is. Um, so I'm just going to write this out, N-butane, and then we have chloroethane. Now, N-butane, the N just represents like a long chain. So basically, we're just going to keep the butane in the long chain. There's not going to be any kinks. And butane has four carbons and 10 hydrogens. So that's what butane looks like. It's one of your organic molecules. But means four, and ain means that you have all single bonds. So C4H10. If I just wanted to draw that out, I would align four carbons in a row. One, two, three, four. And then I would put my 10 hydrogens around these carbons to get carbon to have the octet rule. So this carbon would have three hydrogens. The carbons in the middle would have the two hydrogens. And then... Uh, the carbon at the end would also have the three, and then there you go with your 10 hydrogens. All right, so that's that. Now for chloroethane, chloroethane, you have to have a chlorine, and eth means two carbons. Ane means all single bonds, so the molecular formula for this would be C2, H5, and then Cl. So in order to draw this, you have your backbone of your two carbons, single bond, put your five hydrogens, so maybe one, two, three, four, five, and then you finally have your uh, chlorine, and in this case, the carbon can only accept one more single bond, so I have a single bond that's now bound to chlorine, which has six dots. Now just know that we have tons of videos about how to make Lewis structures. So if you always need a refresher, you can always go back and just watch those videos and then it will make more sense. We got you guys. All right, that's terrible. Those are, those are better. All right, so let's just throw this over here. So now, here are the drawings between the butane and the chloroethane. They have similar molar masses, but yet uh, the N-butane boiling point is much lower. It's only negative 1 degrees Celsius versus the boiling point of the chloroethane, which is 12 degrees Celsius. Now, if they're talking about boiling points, the reason behind different boiling points and why one compound might have a larger boiling point or one have a smaller one is all due to intermolecular forces. So there are three total intermolecular forces that you should know. And as you start collecting intermolecular forces, your boiling point will increase. So these are structured in a way that it's the most basic to the most specific intermolecular force. Your dispersion forces, which are also known as van der Waals or London forces, just know that all compounds, no matter what's going on, will always have dispersion forces. These are like temporary uh, forces. So N-butane will just have a dispersion force by default. So maybe I'll put dispersion force. And so will the chloroethane. So that is not anything that's changing. Dispersion force. Now the next force is the dipole-dipole, and you're getting more and more and more specific. So now, only polar molecules will have this force. So we're getting a little bit more specific. 
Now you can remember which ones are polar or nonpolar by the wording snap. So maybe I have room. I guess what I'll do is I'll just bring this over a little bit. Beautiful. And now I can do my snap over here. S, eh, I might need a little bit more room. S, N, A, P. Now, the N and the P talks about the different types of molecules. You have nonpolar molecules, covalent, and you have polar, covalent. Just know that the S and the N go together and the A and the P go together. If you are nonpolar, your molecule has to be completely symmetrical. So it should have some symmetry to it. On the flip side, if you have a polar molecule, your molecule will be asymmetrical, or it will have asymmetry to it. So if we want that dipole-dipole attraction, we're looking for polar molecules. And the polar molecule is the one that has the asymmetry. Or it's asymmetrical, meaning that it's different. So we're looking out for that. So let's look at the butane. Well, if I cut this molecule in half, I literally have the same, exact same thing on both sides. Is that symmetrical or is that asymmetrical? Yeah, this is completely symmetrical. So this molecule and butane would be classified as nonpolar. And since it's nonpolar, it does not have dipole-dipole attractions. But now when I look at chloroethane and I split this down the middle, this side that has three hydrogens does not equal this side that has two hydrogens and a chlorine. That's asymmetrical. That is not symmetrical. And in SNAP, asymmetrical goes with polar. So this is a polar molecule. And since it's polar, this also has dipole-dipole. The last intermolecular force is the hydrogen bond, which is the most uh, specific. You have to have specifically a hydrogen that's bound to the most electronegative elements on the periodic table. So that's H with N, H with O, and H with F. No exceptions. But here, all of my hydrogens are bound to a carbon. That's not the same as nitrogen or hydrogen, uh, sorry, nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. So there's no hydrogen bonding here. Now, remember, as you start collecting intermolecular forces, that's going to increase your boiling point. For n-butane, you only have one intermolecular force. So I'll say IMF, intermolecular force. For chloroethane, you got dispersion and you have dipole-dipole. So that's two intermolecular forces. And... It says, on the basis of intermolecular attractions, explain the differences. Since chloroethane has more, so we'll say C2, and eh, maybe, yeah, I guess I'll say C2H5Cl has more intermolecular forces, this means that it will have a higher boiling point, which it does. And that is basically the answer to this question. Specifically, the intermolecular forces that it has is the dispersion, but the dipole-dipole. The butane does not have the dipole-dipole, bringing the boiling point lower. And that's the answer. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and thank you for being such a support um, for the growth of this channel. I mean, you guys have been so incredibly kind in the comments. And, you know, my brother and I, we really, really do appreciate all of you guys that use the channel, that tell your friends or your classmates about this channel. The channel would not be here without you guys. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's just keep learning. That's the point of this channel, to always keep learning. So we got thousands of videos for you and much more to come. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.